taking over the streets. We work it. Working this city exclusively on streets 94 fast. Holidays, holidays, holiday season. Dude, if you ain't gay, like, like, like gay people shouldn't bother you. Like, you ain't gonna get your ass pumped, dude. Like, ain't nobody trying to look for you, my nigga. Like, you can say gay things and not be seen as gay. We know you ain't gay, my nigga. But you, then you ain't got to say no homo after you say, I want a hot dog. No homo. That's stupid. Nigga, like, no. Be comfortable with your manhood, my nigga. <laughs> that was T-Pain. Yeah. He was giving you guys a little PSA for the homophobes out there that has to constantly say no homo and pause to everything. Oh, my God. No gay guys. Story of my me, life. Right? That's so how holiday sounds when I be like, no homo. <laughs> he starts going off. I have no idea what talking about. <laughs> All right, some album no, news. No, nothing of this. <laughs> Two Change is working on Boats 3. He's in, nice. the, he's in the studio. He took to Twitter, and he said the announcement that he is working on Boats 3. So look forward to that. And he is also going on another tour. So yes. that's very cool. And also Kendrick Lamar, he's been overseas in the U.K., He's working on some things, too, for his new album. He says the weather has been very gloomy and rainy, and he likes it. It's creating a dark album. So No. Yeah, it's going to be a Kendrick dark album. Wait, is? Yes. That's not good. Yeah. All right, well, Chris Brown, he's in that 90-day rehab thing. It's coming to an end on February 19th, and they allow him to go out for charitable events or working, you know, things like that. But he was caught uh, partying with Trey Songs during the... Uh, uh, Super Bowl. Yeah. And people took pictures. And so now, like, everybody's scrambling to try to get the pictures down off the internet because obviously he was not supposed Trey to put be him there. up? No, 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 no. Okay. Like, the fans and stuff that were there. Uh, Chris Brown's rep is not confirming or denying that he's there because I'm sure they don't want him to get in trouble. Here we go. Uh -oh. But he's actually doing really, really well right now uh -oh. after his rehab. So he deserves to have a little party here and there. Think he's so? Not, yeah. Yeah, he's doing, they say he's doing really, really well. And he looks really good. He looks healthy again. <laughs> All right. It's tax season. If you're not receiving money back, then you're definitely paying. And Keisha Cole just got slapped with 162000 tax lien. $162,158.93. Not the cents. <laughs> <laughs> they oh, want damn. all that. You know what a tax lien is. They put that on your bank account. So that's coming out whether she likes it or not. So lean sorry, Keisha, you got to pay your taxes. And Chief Keef, he owes some money too. I got how much he owes and who he owes it to coming up next. Holiday season live, Streets 94.5. In true <laughs> fashion, it's the new year, so he has a new debt. $26,000 he owes to the cancer charity concert that he was supposed to perform at. He was paid fifteen thousand dollars for a deposit to show up. That's mm. normal, but he called and said that he couldn't come. Well, he said he was on the way and he never came. Up <laughs> front, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this joke just sounds funny. First of all, who booked him for a cancer concert? <laughs> and how do you call him and be like, "Yo, I'm on the way"? <laughs> Well, he, they called and said, we need another $2,500. They were like, well, we already gave you 15 of your 25 you know, that we were supposed to give you. Right. So he was like, well, I need another 2500 right. They said he couldn't do it. So they came. They said, well, we're on the way. They never came. So they had to give everybody their money back, and they had to pay for all the expenses, you know, the lighting and the food and everything. Wow. So, oh, he was yeah. the only performer. Clearly, yeah, because I was like, dang, why they have to? So it really wasn't a concert if it's just him. I want to know what hood Chief person Keith put got that records, B. <laughs> well, a part of the lawsuit is not just the twenty six thousand, but also an eighty eight dollar order of chicken wings <laughs> that was placed. Gotta have them chicken wings. Placed by the entourage member when they said they was on the way. <laughs> oh yeah, and and again and again, <laughs> who booked him for a cancer charity event? And they got to have a chicken wing. Of sticks. all the people, you just Kim, said, I Kim want you to keep. Kim Productions. I've never heard of them, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, sticks. I, we can name four or five people like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the way. I'm on the way. I need 2,500, though. Speaking of charitable. I need a 10-piece mile. Rihanna uh, looks out for one of her fans and their funeral. And also, Kim K., She's clapping back on Twitter. Both of those stories are on streets 94.5ATL.com. Yeah. There you go. Holly. That's it. You done? I'm done. Salute, sister. Thank you. Sister soldier. Holidays, holidays, holiday season. Holidays.